Hi, welcome to automation testing. In uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about generate Excel report in Selenium using Test Ng. Uh, in software test automation, after completion of any test suite execution, we need to have a report for the execution status, and uh, it is the only way of evidence for the pass and fail status of the tests. Means, uh, once you complete the test suite execution, we need to show the report like how many pass, how many fail, and what is the uh, reason for the failures. And here, if you want to generate Excel report, uh, you need to download some jar files, and we need to execute the entire test suite using Test Ng. After the completion of the Test Ng, you need to write a separate program, and you need to execute that program to generate the Excel report. Uh, for this, uh, I have uh, written a separate blog in Automation Testing that in generate Excel report in Selenium using Test Ng, and you can download the. Uh, these excel uh, these jar files from the uh, this link at excel report uh, once you go to this link uh, you, you can find the jar files and you can download it from here and once it is done like you can see that you will find these many jar files i have given uh, i am using here to generate the Excel report, to write the data into the Excel report, Apache Py API, and the JFree chart jar files to generate the uh, Py chart, and uh, last AT Excel report. This is the actual jar file to generate the report. You have to add all these jar files to your uh, folder structure, means your project. Now let's not waste the time. We'll go to uh, like go to the Eclipse. And we'll create a project, Java project. Next, and I'll write like uh, Excel report generation. And next, here I'll add the jar files. I think I have the jar files here already added I'll just verify yeah I have some extra jar files but these are uh, actually no are not needed but uh, these many jar files are uh, enough these jar files are enough and uh, I'll create I'll remove these things okay Remove these things. I have to create. Uh, I'll create two sample classes. Uh, for that, what I'll do, I'll take two sample classes. One is test class one. Here the name is test class one. These are test ng classes. What I'll do, I'll create at the rate test and I'll add these things. Give me one second. Like we need to add the test ng jar, like test ng dot annotations at the rate test. And I'll write sample methods public wide test method. We will write three methods. One is to pass the test case, one is to fail the test case, and another is uh, fail the uh, skip the test case. Means how we uh, we will see that how the report will get generated for these kind of uh, tests. And here I'll say assert dot assert true. Here are the test engine. Okay, I'll say I'll make it pass. Okay, now I'll write one more test case. Add the test public void test method fail. Okay, no assert dot assert true. Here I'll mention. False. Okay, I'm deliberately failing these things. And the third one is 
I'll skip this one. Public Y test method skip. Okay. Here I'll say throw new uh, skip exception and I'll give the message like skipping intentionally. I'm intentionally skipping this one. This is one uh, test class. I'll write uh, one more. I'll bring this to here. I'll remove these things. Test class one. I'll take one more class. Test class two. Finish. Uh, and here also, I'll take the same methods. I'll copy paste this one here. Here, what I'll do. Uh, instead of assert dot true false here I'll say throw new uh, not implemented exception here I'll get I'll give the message like um, failed intentionally I'll say Okay, I want to show the difference that how what, uh, that failure will be, how this kind of failure will be. Now I have two simple uh, testng classes. Now I want to execute these classes. I have created testng.xml file. Uh, in the testng.xml file, I have created two test tags. One is test1 and another is test2. Okay, in this test1, I am executing this test class1. This test class1. Uh, executing in the separate test and test class 2 executing in the separate test okay now I'll simply execute this one right click as run as test ng suit now we can see that total six test cases two failures and two skips okay uh, we made it same right two pass two fail two skip now that is fine till here normal execution now if I want to generate uh, this one like uh, excel report I have to create one more class now I have to create one more class a very normal class I will say public static wideband class okay and I have to give some name I will say um, generate report okay finish here I can I have to write one simple I have to call simple method simple method that is capital X L this is a class dot you will find two static methods in this before that I have to import this one if you put dot this is a class you will find two starting methods one is generate report string file name and another is sorry dot generate report folder location and excel file name means here what it will do you, you can use any one of these two methods if you use excel dot generate report and give some excel file name then it the file will get generated in the test output folder okay in the test output folder it will generate like 
excel report dot xlsx you give any name with that name this report will get generated this is previous one i will remove this one in the test output folder by default this test output folder uh, will get uh, in this folder it will get generated if you don't want to generate the report in the test output folder you can give where you want to generate the uh, file first uh, we will take this one and I will give one sample name uh, excel hyphen report dot excel sx ok it will do unchecked exception this is a three exception now uh, we have executed these two test cases using testng.xml file after that no need to do anything just write like this one public static environment class in that excel dot generate report and give the excel file name what uh, name you want to put now just right click run as java application that's it now it will give one message like excel report generated see excel report generated and you just refresh this folder you see excel report dot xlsx if you double click this one you see you will get this kind of report uh, here the first sheet will be summary report uh, summary sheet in the summary sheet you will get how many passed how many failed how many skip and the total test cases and when the test uh, got started what is the end time and the duration of total test set execution it will give you the entire report and it will give the execution status in pie chart means uh, this is skipped this is passed and this is failed ok uh, it will give a glance like uh, how many passed how many failed and how many skipped after that you will get some other sheets see test 1 test 2 what is this test 1 and test 2 means uh, if you go to your testng.xml file you see test 1 it is test name right you have two tests in the test each test will create as a sheet uh, this test 1 is one sheet and this test 2 is sheet under that how many classes you will execute uh, that status will be generated if you go to test 1 you have test class 1 dot test method fail means it will give you the class name and the method names ok test method pass, test method fail, test method skip in the same way test class 1 dot test method fail, test method pass and test method skip and for each and every uh, test method you will get the error means exception and the when it is started, when it is end and what is the duration of this particular method here expected true but found false that is the reason it got failed and the skip is skipping intentionally uh, we have written the me uh, method right skipping intentionally the reason it will print if you go to the test 2 ok uh, we have me uh, mentioned uh, like in the test 2 the failure is because of failed intentionally the same thing will get printed here failed intentionally, skipped intentionally and the start time, end time and the duration the same way you will get the fail, pass, skip and in the summary you will get all the information in the form of pie chart this way you will get uh, excel report ok now I want uh, one more method like I don't want to generate the report in test output folder I'll just delete this one ok now I'll say like I want to generate my report somewhere in the uh, mission now I'll say like I don't want to here I want to mention like here this location in this Krishna volume selenium and reports and this one I will take like the name it is excel report dot xlsx ok same thing but the folder structure will be different now I will execute the same as run as java application uh, give me one second there is a one extra 
parenthesis i'll run it again run this java application once again it will give you that excel report generated if you refresh this one you will not get that one the reason is we are not generating the report in the test output folder i am giving selenium and reports if you go to this reports folder you see here uh, excel report got generated same report but the location is different you see the same summary same test one and same test two this way you can generate the excel report sometimes there is a need of generating reports in the form of excel also then you can generate this kind of reports i have seen somewhere this kind of reports but that is not uh, this much like uh, with these colors and you no know, uh, format and pie chart is not there so i made some uh, changes and i am generating this kind of reports and i'm giving in the form of jar file you can just generate uh, download those jar files uh, from the blog in the automation testing that in otherwise i'll give the same link in the description of this uh, video okay you can just download those uh, jar files and add it to your uh, workspace and uh, execute your entire script uh, otherwise suit using testng.xml file or once it is done you just uh, create this kind of class a normal class and call these methods and execute then you will get this type of report okay and uh, uh, that's all in this video thank you for watching this video uh, don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel and please like us at our facebook page